We don't all have time to be working out for hours on end each day or even each week. So current science is showing that actually it's beneficial for us to be moving little and often. So rather than working out for a one hour in the morning and then remaining sedentary for the rest of the day, that's counterproductive. We want to be fitting in some little exercise snacks throughout our day or ballet bites as I call them. So some bite-sized movement throughout your day. And in this video, I'm going to show you six simple ballet inspired strength movements that you can use throughout your day. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. So there'll be times during your day, which are obvious times, sort of flags that you can place throughout the day for you to move your body. So you have first thing in the morning when you get up, you might have certain habits throughout your day that you can then add exercise onto, which you call habit stacking. So for example, if you're brushing your teeth every morning or you're blow drying your hair or whatever it may be, there are certain times of the day that we can add some movement in and it does not need to take very long. So the first one we're going to do is the, our morning magic moves and we're going to straight away rotate at the hip. So if you bring your feet parallel and then squeeze the hips round, so use your glutes and out, we're coming into first position and we're simply going to take some plies, which is a simple bend, making sure the knees are tracking over the middle toes, stretching up and then coming up into a rise on the demi point and lower. And we can keep repeating this. And you're thinking about all the muscles that you're using. Obviously, there's a balance here. So straight away in the morning, we're warming up the knees, we're warming up the hips, we're warming up the feet because you're coming up through the feet and you're balancing. So we're having to focus on all the muscles that we need to recruit to help with this control first thing in the morning. And they're very, very gentle moves trying to keep the core pulled in nice and tight for balance, tailbone coming down towards your heels and zipping up your inside thighs as you straighten the legs and lift up and relaxing your shoulders. So straight away, you're tapping into your body and how it feels. And you can do this a few times when you get up first thing in the morning. And then, if you're blow drying your hair, how about some blow dry balances? So a couple of things you could be doing while you're with your brush and your hair dryer is coming up onto a rise. So this is obviously a balance challenge. While you're blow drying your hair, you are balancing on your demi point. If that is too much, instead what you can do is balance on one leg. So the heels will come back down, you're still in this rotated position. And while you dry this side of your hair, you balance on one leg and then you can switch and balance on the other while you're drying your hair and so this obviously you're having to focus in the mirror and drying the hair and you're moving your upper body around it's a really good challenge to balance on one leg and maintain that and see how long you can do it for and if you're doing this every single day you're soon going to notice the difference and how uh, well balanced and in control your body starts to become while you're moving around so again really nice one to do third one commute contractions so if you're commuting on a train or a bus whether you're standing or sitting or if you don't have a long commute you're just moving uh, to your desk at home there are still things that you can do so even if you're at your desk at home uh, you can just stand behind your chair for a moment or when you've actually sat down on your chair before you start working you can start to engage your core so all you'll be doing with this one whether you're seated or standing is lengthening the spine out so you're right up on your sitting bones if you're sitting down lengthening up and you're going to contract the core so this isn't a big movement where we're contracting in and then lengthening back up again you're pulling your tummy button through to your spine so use the breath so you'll take a deep breath in and feel the diaphragm expand and then as you exhale squeeze everything in exhale squeeze in and then inhale Feel everything expand, exhale, tummy button comes through and you contract the core. So just a few of these, which also helps you to tune into your breath as well. So if you're feeling a little bit stressed, there's been a bit of a rush to the train or the bus, or you just had a very busy morning before you sat at your desk, 
This we're using the breath to help calm down the nervous system and then contracting and just doing a few of those contraction exercises for the core as well. So the next natural break will be lunch. And here we can do some lunge, lunge lift offs. So we're going to take the leg back into a lunge, a parallel lunge, with the knee coming down towards the floor. So from the front, it will be here. And then you're going to bring it back up. You can either bring it back up to tap the foot next to your other foot, or from that lunge, you can bring it up and hold in a balance. But to add a little bit of extra uh, challenge to this, you're gonna rotate the body. And you're gonna rotate the body over the front leg. So as this leg comes back into the lunge, you're gonna rotate over the front leg. As the leg comes up, you're going to rotate over that front leg. So it comes down and this will be done nice and controlled and up and down. And you wanna keep the knee over the ankle on this front leg and up and use the core. So again, we're bringing the mind back to the body, ensuring that we're focusing, taking our time and up. And then of course you will practice that on the other leg as well, taking it back. And if the rotation is too much, just keep it straight. You can just bring it down and up. So you're working the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, the core. Because you're rotating, we're also challenging the balance. So the brain has to really concentrate on what the body is doing. So again, take you away from your emails, everything else, the chaos that's going along around and then bringing you back into your body and just doing a few minutes of exercise. Fifth exercise, you can use a chair or a desk, but desk dancer dips. So we're gonna come to your desk or your chair and you're gonna do some tricep dips, so working on your arms. So you will have your hands flat on your chair or your desk and you will walk the feet forwards so your knees are at a 90 degree angle. Open the chest, keep the shoulders down. You're gonna bend the elbows and push back up. Bend the elbows, push back up, tummy in. And so you can do a few of these and push. Down and push, down and push. You could do 10, you could do 20. 10, take a break and go back and do a few more. That does not take very long, but you will feel it straight away in your arms. So a really nice one to just add in some arms as well as all the leg exercises and the balances that you're doing. And the next one, the sixth exercise, the final one is a squat strength stretch. So this time we are going to come into a nice wide second with the feet and you're just going to bend the knees out of the toes and squat down. So the difference here between a plie where everything stays underneath and a squat where the bum comes out and the body comes slightly forward but the chest remains lifted, you can get deeper and back up. But we're going to reach down to the floor and back up as you squat. So from here, so if you need to pick things up off the floor at some point, you can reach down, pick that off the floor, back up, reach down and back up. And you will feel a stretch on the inner thighs. You're using your glutes, you're coming back down and then squeeze the glutes back up again. But we're gonna add a little stretch in as well if you want to. So from here, as you come down to touch the floor with one hand, you're gonna open up the other arm to reach towards the ceiling and then come back up. Down, reach up and lift. Down, you don't have to do this stretch if you don't want to. You can just come down, work just focusing on the legs and up. But this also challenges the balance a little bit. I don't suggest doing it in high heels. Take your shoes off if you're wearing heels, down and up. But that's a really nice one. To finish off your day, stretching things out, rotating the spine, opening up the hips, getting the legs going again if you've been sitting for a long period of time. And you can do as many of those as you want, uh, whatever time permits. But those are my top exercises, my top six simple exercises that you can slip into your day uh, to maintain a degree of strength, but to, to keep your body moving throughout the day. Remember, getting those exercise snacks in or those ballet bites in is really, really important for your overall well-being.
If you like this video, you found it helpful, please do share it with your friends, your colleagues, your family, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share and comment on this video, and I will see you next time.